Hi, it's Anne from The Useless Crafter. So still part of my giveaway where I pick just random projects and I do everything that you need to do in design space. I think it's really important um, you know, to help out and to show people. Uh, it's hard when you're first starting and you have free SVGs, you have access, you have all these images, but you need to tweak it just a little bit and you don't know how to tweak it. And so you spend hours or you just don't do it, right? So I wanna show you the easiest way to do it. So our winner today is, um, she requested Hanukkah shirts. It's Candice Gamble, my Instagram user friend. Um, so I'm gonna show her how to do this and uh, hopefully this helps you too. So all of these images are from Design Space. They're free. So what you would do is go to images up here, type Hanukkah. And just bring in images that you like to basically highlight it you can highlight five of them if you wanted to which is what i did earlier and insert image okay i'm going to deselect it because i've already inserted my images these are the ones that i want to do i remember when i first got my machine um it was all great that these were ready to go but i didn't know what to do with it so let's look at the first one this is i love you a lot Kay. I think I'm pronouncing it correctly. I'm not sure. <laughs> All right. First thing is, if you wanted to make this a t-shirt, you want to make this big, right? So, uh, I'm so sorry. I'm so stuffed right now. Um, this, let's say this is for the dad. Let's make this nine and a half by nine or nine inches by nine. I think that's kind of like the standard size. So you can go up here and under size and width, you can just type in nine. And then if you tab, your whole image will get big, or bigger proportionately. All right. So let's say you like that. Um, but let's say you want to make, <laughs> so sorry. Let's say you want to change this and you want every other word to be a different color. You want this to be blue, but you want this to be, uh, I don't know, gold and white, let's say, okay? First thing you do is you go to ungroup. Now, all the letters are, um, are grouped together. So you can't, you know, you can't go and you change it. For instance, if I go and I change one thing, the whole thing will turn yellow. So that's probably not what you want, but I'll show you now. Okay, so we want every other word to be a different color, right? So that means we're gonna break this image up into two. We want one gold, one white, okay? So duplicate just that okay so here we go so it's duplicated okay and i'm sorry let me move all this stuff out of the way all right so here we go i'm going to go to contour and let's make this just a little bit bigger so we can see it all right, so with contour, it's super cool. Let's say we don't want the eye. So you just start selecting things. We don't want the, the U. So you select everything that goes with it. We want the A, we don't want the lock K. Is that how you pronounce it? You can tell me in comments. Um, all right. So love a perfect okay now on this one so let's say this one you want to make it white um so or let's just do gray so visually we can see it a little bit better okay so now we go to contour and we want to keep the um let's make this a little bit bigger we can see it all right so we don't want the love right because we already have that that's going to be yellow 
Oh, hold on. I selected the wrong one. I want the I. Um, I don't want love. I don't want this piece, this piece, or this piece. I want the U. I don't want the A. All right. And look. And now we can easily bring in this piece. And it's kind of already spaced out for us so we know where it should go. Like so, I think. All right. There you have it. So you highlight the whole thing if you want to make this, I don't know, if it was an extra large shirt and you want to make it 11 inches, just make sure you grab the whole thing, make it to 11. It is now personalized the way that you want it. Let's just say you don't want this piece or this, um, the star. You can just, oops, I'm sorry. Undo it. Let's say you don't want the star, right? Why does it do that to me? <laughs> Select the star. You can use your arrow key and you can move it out of the way. Or you delete it if you wanted to. I didn't want to delete it because I think my friend does want this, but let's say for whatever reason you wanted a heart. Now you can go in, insert, shape, put down the heart down here like that, and you can go make your shirt, okay? Just, this will just show you just different things. Okay, so this shirt is done. This shirt, time to light up and let's get lit. I kind of like the combination of things. I like the time too, and then I want to change this to just get lit. I want everything, so I kind of want a combination of the two, okay? So let me continue to grab this stuff, move it over. Okay, so we have these two pieces. Let's make it a little bit bigger so we can look at it. Okay, so I don't love these candles. So on this one, go to ungroup. Just grab the candles, delete it, okay? Um, I also didn't want let's, right? I just want to put time to get lit. <laughs> so let's go to contour. And you could just get rid of that. But you know what? Let me, um, that's not the best way to do it. Okay, let's go to shape. Bring in our square. And our square is over here. If you cover up whatever, you know, you're, we basically want get lit by itself, remove this. So if you do this and you highlight it all, you can slice it. And now you have get lit by itself. Okay, we can delete. Um, do we want to delete it? Yeah, we want to delete it. Okay, let's just highlight all that, delete that. Okay, over here, let's ungroup this. Um, okay, so with this one, same thing, time to, we can get rid of light it up, right? So shapes, square again, go grab our square. Everything gets dropped in at the top left corner. So in case you're ever working on a large project, you're wondering where it is. Okay. Make your square big enough to cover the bottom. Grab these two items and slice. So now you have time to get lit. Okay, let's get rid of all this. We don't need this. Okay, if you like the graphics from before where this was kind of curved, that's going to be a little bit more difficult because this was already messed with. We don't have the curve option up here. What you could do, actually you can't. Um, you would have to rewrite this and then move your letters a little bit. So I like it the way it is. Now let's say uh, 
These are all separated, yeah. Let's say you wanted the stars to be a different color. What you can do is, um, the best way to do this would be to duplicate. And let's go to contour. So contour, get rid of all your lights. And now you have the stars over here. Select this one, contour, get rid of all your stars. And now you can make these stars, let's say you wanted to make the stars um, a dark blue. And now you have it, okay? I hope this is helpful like for you to more customize free pieces, right? Like it's, I don't know, I had a really hard time doing that when I first started. I'm like, all I wanna do is put a, you know, cut a hole in this thing and I just couldn't figure out how to do it. All right, let's say you don't like that small star. Just go to contour and get rid of it. Okay, so there's lots of things you can customize. All right, so with this shirt, let's say this is for, I don't know, the, the youngest one. Let's make this six by six. You can grab, make sure you grab the whole thing so everything gets bigger proportionately, okay? All right, shirt number two. Let's see what else we have over here. Party like a lock star. I love this. It's so stinking cute. Okay, with pieces like this, I kind of feel like you probably want to separate this. You probably want to make the star a different color. Um, you know, like if this was, if this was, you know, let's say Jewish enough for you with just the star and the word locks, and you want to make this, um, I don't know, rainbow color, let's do that because I don't know what she wants to do, but I just want to give you examples of how to customize things. Okay, so with this one, I definitely think it's easiest to break it up, um, you know, each word a different, um, you know, let, well, let's ungroup it and see how it's grouped together. Um, interesting, just the X dropped off. So let me undo it really quickly. Get it back so that it's aligned, okay? Let's bring in a, um, some squares so that we can slice. So here's our first square. Okay, so over here, let's just duplicate our squares so we have a few. Okay, so let's get star by itself, okay? So let's um, unlock it, make it so that it you know covers our whole word. There we go. So now we just want to grab this and slice. So we can get rid of our, all our slicing results. And now star is by itself. Let me undo that. Let's just say star, you want to make it red. And for locks, let's see. So the next one, we want to get locks. Unlock it. All right. And let's go, oops, let's just grab enough of, hold on, sorry. Let me make this, let me move it over there. Okay, so now I can grab these two items. Okay, slice it. Okay, and then um, we use this same one. Let's see if I can just get the like A in here. There. Oops, that's not going to be good. Let me unlock that. Make this wide. You want to make sure that you grab everything, that the entire like A is, is there. 
Um, okay, so let me see if I can, hold on. I'm gonna need to move this down a little bit. Okay. Slice. I'm gonna get rid of this, get rid of this, and then now I have that. Um, I, yeah, I do have my slice results from this, remove that. Okay. All right, so now parties by itself. Um, and let's say you want party to be purple. Uh, like A, you wanna make it green. The star, let's say you want the star separate. Okay, so let's duplicate contour. Let's get rid of the L. Uh, you know what? That was not smart. Hold on. Let me just delete this whole thing. It's much easier to just do this. Okay. So let's slice out this L. Okay, so let's say you want that, but you want your star to be um, gold. Okay, so um, you can attach this. And the reason why you wanna attach it is, let me just show you what I'm doing next. So I wanna line up like and the locks. So grab the two of them, go to align, and you want to align it left, right? And then party, you can align it like this. And then star is right here, like so. So now you can move it. You can Grab it all and make it bigger, smaller, whatever it is. That's how you change that, okay? Oh, did I? Oh, when I, so detach it, I wanted this star a different color. Okay. All right. I don't even, I'm not even pretend I can pronounce that. Um, you say donut, I say their version of donut. <laughs> so same thing on this one. What I would do is I would bring in a circle, get each one of these donuts separate from the other one so that I can customize it. I can make it, I can make this one blue and white, this one with blue sprinkles. That's how you would do it. Um, so I'm going to do that for this one. That's the only thing I'm going to change because I think you're starting to get like how to separate the different layers and that way you can customize your layers. Okay. So let's go in because we're going to bring in some shapes. Let's bring in a square and a circle so that we can start separating things over here. Scroll over. Um, let's remove these donuts, okay? So I have a couple donuts, I have four of them. So I want four circles. And make it smaller, make it just enough so that it covers your donut, the one donut you want separated. I know they're so close to each other. I just wanna make sure, okay, I think that's good. Okay, so grab the two items and slice. Okay, so this donut is now by itself. So now you can customize that donut. Maybe you wanna make it um, dark blue. And then this one, oops, let's go grab that donut. Make it this circle smaller, just enough to grab your donut and not touch anything else. There. Grab these two items and slice. 
Get rid of all your slice results. You don't need that. Okay. Um, oops. Did I get rid of the... I did get rid of the wrong one. And let me undo, sorry. This is the one I want. I want to get rid of this. Okay, and let's say you want to make this one a light blue. This is starting to look really cute, right? Okay. Um, and then, you know, go grab this donut. I think that works. Slice. Yep. Move that. Oh, I left that in there. That's okay. I basically didn't get a clean slice, but you know what? We can easily go to contour and get rid of this little guy. See, that was really easy, right? And and then say this one, you want to make a, a different color blue. Um, it'd be really cool if you had all these different shades of blue. And then maybe one of these could be glitter, iron on. Um, it'd be really cute. All right. Um, we have one more. <laughs> I, I, didn't, I don't have another circle. We can go grab that circle. This is the last one that we're going to do, so it's okay. All right. Here's our circle. Okay. I think we got it. Slice. And then we can get rid of this and this. Okay. So I think it looks something like Let's move all our donuts in, right? I mean, you're going to layer this late, later on your shirt. And then this one, let's make this one. Um, there's so many pretty blues in here. I love it. All right. Now you have your personalized shirt. It's super cute. Um, if you want to change these words, you know, Again, just let's do this one. Let's say you wanted to change that to, well, we got to move this. Hold on. There. And then get rid of all your slice results. And then now you can change this word to, I don't know, red and if you wanted to change donut you would do it the same way all right i hope that was super helpful the contest is still on so send me your projects i mean you still have to do it but that's the only way you're going to learn so i you know that's why i like this contest is that while i'm personalizing it for your project you now still need to go in and do it because you're not going to learn I'm not going to be here to do all your projects. So um, this is, you know, I think it's a great way to learn. So, okay. Thank you. All right. Have a great day. I hope to see your project next. Bye.